Hello everybody, Steve here from Steve's Garage. I'm Steve, this is our buddy Inspector Earl, and uh, I've got in front of me the, the front end of the car here, the front axle. So I haven't been around for a while, I've uh, been busy with other stuff, and uh, I actually hurt my back, you know, real bad working on some stuff, and uh, I was down and out for a couple of days, and uh, but better now, it's sore, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those things. So um, anyway, I've got the front end off the car. I had, uh, I took the spring perches off because I want to put new spring perches on as I showed in my last video, new spring perches, which I'll show you. And, uh, and we're going to put uh, a, uh, a new uh, perch to catch the, the uh, coil over shocks. And, um, but what I need to do now is disassemble the rest of the front end and get it off uh, ready for uh, sanding and cleaning and get it ready for some primer. Uh, so I want to take everything apart and, and, uh, and go from there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to disassemble the rest of the front end and uh, get it on a bench and, and that's it. All right, so let me show you what we got going on here. Hope everyone's having a great day. It's a beautiful day here in Western Mass. A little cloudy, but hey, it's what it is. So here's the axle off the car. And as I showed you before, this is the frame, which I have been, uh, you know, sanded, cleaned up, welded, um, did a ton of work to, and that's in another video. Um, but this axle here, they had these, this is a piece of the original spring perch. You see how it's worn out there? So, you know, these were gonna be replaced no matter what but I wanted taller ones so I can put uh, coil over springs to smooth out the ride. So these spring perches went in this axle. This was actually like this on the other side. And um, under here is the wishbone uh, attaches to that piece. So here's the wishbone. And as you see, these points of attachment on the bottom here, those go right here and the spring perch comes under here the spring goes uh, there's a shackle that goes through this hole and holds the leaf spring on which is over here with all my piles of new parts from speedway to go on so one spring perch literally fell out of the hole i mean it just came out very easy just tapped it a few times out the other side which is the driver's side, which is this side over here, that thing would not budge. And I hit it, and I hit it, and I hit it, and uh, it wouldn't move. I used heat, still wouldn't move. So then I went to my old worst enemy, who was me, and I said, well, let's do it the hard way. So I started drilling out, and I drilled and drilled and drilled, and then I took a sawzall blade and I was cutting down the sawzall blades to fit through the hole and I did get cut I thought I was all the way through but I was not and um, but with a, some more pounding all of a sudden it pop it started to come free and I just had to beat the hell out of it and I got it out and I'm considering myself lucky because if this didn't come out it was off to some you know Machine shop or something. I'm sure when they saw it, they're like, ah, we don't want to do that, you know, so you're subject to all that. So it was a real pain in the butt. A friend of mine, Howie, this is a shout out to my buddy Howie, came over, cooled me down because I'm not the most patient person when it comes to stuff like this. And uh, he slowed me down and we went through it and we, he helped me. We got, we got it out together. So I'm putting a shout out to Howie. He knows who he is. Good buddy of mine for years and years. And uh, he's a machinist from way back, and he helped me out. So, Earl, what do you think of that front axle? Ain't got no gas in it. That's enough of you. So anyway, uh, here we are. So I'm going to reset the camera up, and we'll start to disassemble this thing. So first thing I'm going to do is take out this, take this cup off which protects the bolt 
that holds it onto the, the spindle here. Um, I also, I always leave my lug nuts on because when you're moving this around, if you drop it, you're going to screw up your threads. And of course, you don't want to do that for obvious reasons. Right out. Next, I'm going to throw some rubber gloves on because this is all greasy mess, and you want to keep that oil and stuff off you as best you can of your semi-permeable membrane. That's what that's called, semi-permeable membrane. So your skin will absorb uh, bad stuff. So try to stay away from it. Got my cotter pin in here. I'd already had this cotter pin out once, so it's in there very loose. And that will be replaced. Never use an old cotter pin. Go with a new one. They're cheap enough. Don't waste your, uh, press your luck with some old piece that might fail on you. So there's that hub inside. It all needs to be cleaned up. I'm going to put it over my bench. I wanted to show you when you take things apart mark them out here this one as you can see it says RF that is not for rat think that's for right front okay so when you put everything back together you know where it's going Now all these brake parts in here, these are all, you know, old. They were barely ever used. As you can see, that's uh, no wear on these things. But, you know, I still gotta re replace all this stuff and or clean it up, um, or both. Again, we're putting our nut on to protect the spindle because you don't want, uh, you don't want to, Bang that stuff up. I know there's a hole in there somewhere. That little cap. This is our cup. We'll save. four bolts on it and these bolts you can see them they're square in there I don't know if you can see exactly in there but they're square and they go against this uh, flange there's a little flange around there so that holds them in there so they can uh, kind of like lock themselves in place There's one there, I show you that head. That head is square. Gotta get my hand in the camera. So that head is square, and the flat, any one, any side, can go up into that flange there. And it holds it for screwing purposes, disassembly. That way you can hopefully get the the outer drum off without taking everything apart but most likely it won't happen because you know how it goes i think the bolt slips and then it's spinning on the inside so that's just murphy's law of disassembly
I hope everybody had a good weekend. Today is Tuesday. We have April 1st coming up this weekend. The April Fool's Day. There's one side, you can see it, and again, I'm going to put all my bolts back in, put the nuts on them, and that way you know where they are. Things start getting laid down on the bench, next thing you know, you're like, what goes where, where's this, where's that. For me personally, I just find this an easier organizational process. Then as I work on each hub separately, I'll take it apart and I'll put all these parts aside and then I'll finish this one hub and move on to the next one. All right, so there you have it. As you can see, you can see the writing on these brake pads. These things are like brand new. They have no, really no wear on them. And as I said in another video, this, uh, this was on a car, a 39 sedan, and uh, the guy built it for his wife, but she didn't really, she wasn't into it. So he took it apart, turned it into a race car with other parts. So he took all this stuff off, and these parts have been off, basically, since he built it new. So there's your spindle. We're going to clean all this stuff up, get it ready for paint. There's the opposite end here. Same thing. the grand prize. This has a cotter pin in it. Again, it will be replaced. I had these all apart before, so that's why everything's coming apart nicely and loosely. But just wanted everybody to see the process. Again, drum's in good shape. We'll put this bolt back in place. Called a castle nut. It looks like a castle. And your cotter pin goes through a drilled hole in the bolt and slides through, bend it around the edges, and that won't go anywhere. And that's a good thing on your front end of your car for your tires. You want your tires going down the highway in front of you. So that would be a bad thing. There's that. Now, even though I got rubber gloves on, I want to keep my hands pretty clean because we don't want be throwing oil and grease all over this thing. These things. 
things are from 1939, old Henry Ford steel. And uh, one thing Ford did really well, which they do on the new cars, obviously. Um, he used all, you know, hard, high thread bolts when it came to places like this, where you need, you want good, uh, you know, something that will shear off with your front tire, so you obviously don't want it to come apart. But uh, they use high quality steel in all their all these bolts and the high thread. What they call a high thread is a a very a thread that's very tight, close together, like 20 threads an inch instead of you know 10 threads an inch. Um, it's uh, maybe it's more than that. I don't you know. I'm just shooting from the cup on that one. But I can show you. So as you can see here, see the detail on the threads there, how there's a lot of threads close together. So that makes the bolt, does two things, it makes the bolt stay on better. Um, so when you tighten that bolt up, there's more threads against the bolt cranking down you know, giving torque on that bolt so it holds down tighter and uh, and of course that's a hardened bolt too so it's not going to snap off so here's the other one again we got the you know brand new brake shoes from back in the day these are all brand new calipers and all that so I got to go through everything and see what the hell's going on All right, on that note, I'm gonna take off my rubber gloves. So that's the update for today. Again, uh, I was down and out there for a little bit, but I'm back in action, slow but sure. Um, so I'm going to start sanding up this front end, get things painted. I've got to take care of the leaf spring, which is in great shape. But I've got new um, new shackles for all that, and you know, there's a lot to do here. So I'm going to start getting parts together and get ready for primer. We'll show you some primer and paint. Then we'll be moving on to primer and paint of the um, of the frame. And uh, from there, we still have the rear end to clean up. I still want to get a speedometer gear in there and go from there. So, thank you very much. It's uh, 1230 on a Tuesday. And uh, from Inspector Earl and I, have a great day. Say goodbye, Earl. Goodbye, Earl. There it is, see? All right, have a great day, everybody. Be kind to everybody. Drive safe, wear your safety belts, please. All right, and pet your dog in the head today. Thanks.